Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. I'm Pastor Shogun Baje. Thank you for tuning in and God bless you. It's another beautiful day for you. He makes all things beautiful in his time. I believe this is the set time for you in the name of Jesus Christ. It says the Lord shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. This is your set time of favor in the name of Jesus and everything is beautiful for you in Jesus' name. Amen. The word for the day, spiritual mindedness. This is a beautiful week. We'll be looking at the power of thoughts. Today we're looking at spiritual mindedness. Spiritual mindedness. Glory to God. Now what does that mean? It simply means training your mind to be spiritually minded. Now why is that important? In Romans chapter 8 and verse 6, the word of God tells us, it says to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. To be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Glory to God. So that means your mindedness determines what you get in life. To be carnally minded is death. It produces death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So God wants you spiritually minded. Why? Because that is how to get life and peace. Life is what God has prepared for you. Peace is your portion in life. Peace simply means shalom, completeness, safety, prosperity. Nothing missing, nothing broken. That is God's will for you. So you have to be spiritually minded. That means you start thinking thoughts consistent with spirituality. God's will for you. Praise God. You don't respond to the sensual. You don't respond to your environment. You don't respond to the things happening around you other than responding from within upon the things that happen around you. Praise God. You respond from within you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now, this is very, very important. And how do you train yourself to be spiritually minded? You meditate on the Word. You think upon the Word of God. You give your devotion, your attention, your commitment, your meditation to the Word. And this is very important. As you meditate on the Word, you begin to see that God is good. You begin to see His plan for you, His purpose for you. The Bible tells us in um, Isaiah chapter 26 and verse 3, it says, God will keep you in perfect peace. Shalom, shalom. Because your mind is stayed on Him. Praise God. When you stay your mind on God, God keeps you in perfect peace. And that's what spiritual mindedness produces. It produces life and peace. Amen. Life and peace. Glory to God. And then in Romans chapter 12 and verse 2, it says, Be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So when your mind is renewed, you are able to prove the will of God. You are able to know what God has designed for you, his purpose for you, his will for you, his goodness for you. Praise God. This is very important. And so I want to encourage you today, refuse to let those things around you upset you enough to begin to meditate upon them. Make sure you select your thoughts and be spiritually minded. Understand that God had prepared the solution before the problem showed up. God had made ready the solution before the problem showed up. So start meditating on God's word with that consciousness and you'll see a way out of any mess and any situation that you're in. Maybe you have a challenge you're dealing with right now. Listen very carefully. Start meditating on God's word that has said something about that challenge instead of meditating on the challenge. Be spiritually minded and you'll get awesome results. I believe you've been blessed today. Until I come your way again tomorrow, keep living and basking in the sphere of grace. I love you and God bless you. Mm-hmm.